Hey y'all, it's Tony. Today is my first day of school, August 24th. The students are coming in early because they can't have that many of them in the cafeteria, which means I don't really have a lot of time. But I'm just gonna finish up like while they're in here and we're gonna figure stuff out as we go. And then I actually did my eyebrows this morning, but like barely, but still, new hair. So year four, and then I made this mask last night too. I like it. So, all right, see you later. Hey y'all, it's Tony. It is Thursday. Like, thank God we made it to Thursday. It's Thursday, August 27th. I was looking around, but I didn't bring my calendar back. I didn't bring, there was a lot of stuff I didn't bring back to my class this year because I obviously didn't know like how everything was going to be. So a lot of my, like my walls are pretty bare, um, which is a stark contrast from my classroom last year, which if you check um, some of my previous vlogs, like my, um, the vlog that I just posted back in September, no, not September, what's that month before this month? July, um, where I showed you like a little bit of what my classroom was looking like like there are a few clips but I had a lot of things on the walls they were like educational things and also the alphabet but then they were just brightly colored and made my room really happy so my room is not as happy this year but I mean the kids are good they they are happy with each other they're happy to be in my class so I'll take that right but I don't have a lot of stuff on my wall the way I used to so this is just a little bit I brought some posters back I think I might put a few things up, but I'm not gonna just do a lot the way that I used to. So, <clears throat> I think I only have like seven, seven or so minutes until, I don't like that I've been getting these. Like as soon as I turned like 29, these forehead wrinkles just started to like really show up and I'm not a fan of it. Um, <laughs> when I was younger, I didn't really have that issue. Like, I, there was barely any forehead wrinkles, but my mom was like, listen, you're getting older. Like, just accept it. I'm like, oh, I want to accept it. I don't want forehead wrinkles. Anyway, I digress. I, I did my eyebrows this morning. Just a little bit. I filled them in just a smidge because my eyebrows are, like, naturally really sparse. Like, you can see them, but, again, they're sparse. So I just decided to just fill them in just a little bit, and I'll tell you about the pencil when I get home. But it's from this um, Australian brand called Mellow Cosmetics. I bought it over the summer. I just have my hair in this like half up, half down situation with the bun, uh, like the mini bun. And then just, as you can see, the rest of it is down. I gotta cover my school logo. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just wearing one of my school shirts today. I usually don't like to wear these because they're not comfortable. They're full polyester. So I get really sweaty and icky in them. Like I really wish that they were breathable. Yeah, like it's just, it is not, it's not comfortable. But I just wore it because I honestly did not know what else to wear this morning. And I was trying to not be late. But I also went to bed at like 9.15, 9.20, which is the earliest that I have gone to bed in a long time. But it was amazing. I think that like even like my eye, the back of my eyes are like starting to, to to slowly what's that word erase to 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 not evaporate because it's not water but anyway they're starting to disappear a little bit and I like it that's exciting uh, I wore earrings today which are just like my usual monogram earrings that I always wear but I didn't I haven't worn earrings I think for the past two days I don't know why I thought I saw something crawling in my light. Okay, no, we're good. But anyway, I need to go ahead and get ready um, because they told me yesterday that I'm getting a new student, and I'm I'm not excited about that because that's it's, it has nothing to do with the child themselves. It's just the fact that they're giving me another student in my class, which means there's another body in this room with me, which means they're coming from another family, and I'm not sure you know, what precautions that family has taken or not taken. So that's another per that's another encounter possibly for me. And then I still have all the ones that are online that I'm ta teaching simultaneously, which like I said, I'm not even, I'm not frustrated. I'm like past frustration 
to just being tired. But, I mean, I feel great today since I went to bed at like 9.15. So, that worked out. Talk to you later. Okay, that was one of our custodians that just came in. I'm like, oh, gotta get off the phone. And then I'm like... <laughs> Alright, that was awkward. But, yeah, I'm gonna go... I need to, you know what? Okay, so this is a mask. I made this mask, and I love this fabric. It's so cute. Um, and I replaced the straps because, wait, did I tell y'all about what I did? No. Okay, so listen, if I didn't tell you, I don't remember if I did or not. But this, these had black straps, and then I cut the straps off. Well, I cut the straps in half because I was like, okay, let me make them a little bit tighter. It did not work out. I ended up making it too tight, so then I'm like, snap. What am I supposed to do? I'm already at work. I can't go back home. So then I went back to my car, right? to go and get another mask because I have like two masks in the car. So I went and got a different mask and I put that one on and I'm like, okay, we're good. But then that one was older and then it wasn't really working out. Like I, it had fibers on the inside of it. And I'm like, okay, this isn't working either. So uh, I went around and I was talking to one of my other coworkers like across the hall and she gave me like a pack of masks and she's really nice. So <laughs> gave me a pack of masks and just told me like you know just to share it with anybody else who needs it so i have a pack thank it <laughs> i'm gonna talk to y'all later hey day five we made it to friday all right so we made it hey y'all it's tony right now in my classroom and I still have the mask on because I just walked in here. But, oh, you can see my stuff behind me. I love that sign. It's so pretty. But, this is what my classroom is looking like. Not really all that. Then there's some things on the wall back there. Then I have my black history wall back there. Some nouns and verbs and adverbs and things that they need to know. Um, windows, <laughs> other stuff. But on each of their desks, I have a, can I show you a piece? I don't think, no. I have these little cards that have everything on them. So they have hundreds charts, they have an addition chart, the alphabet, the number line, the ruler, right and left hand, it has shapes and colors all on it. If I remember, I'll try to link it or find a picture at home to show you. Wait, I think that I have some that are empty. I mean, not empty, but blank. Let me see. Oh, this one's blank. So, this is what it looks like. And it has everything that they need. Because I decided that I was not going to decorate my room this year. The way that I usually, like, I usually go full in and decorate my room. Like, I have everything on the wall. So, if you remember, if you look at clips from last year, then you would see that. Um, I had, like, an alphabet going all the way across my entire room up until this wall. So, it went from that wall all the way around to right there. I had an alphabet. And I had both the print and cursive because I love personally love to write in cursive. So I had basically like my kids like see how to write in cursive. Cursive isn't something that we cover in second grade. They actually don't really cover it at all anymore, I don't think. But I wanted my kids to be able to see cursive and get familiar with it because again, cursive is a necessary skill. Like you need to be able to sign your signature. Um, so yeah, this is my teacher area, which I don't really get to go to anymore because one, social distancing, and two, I, it's really difficult to do that because I have the group that are on an iPad, I mean, on my uh, laptop up in the front of the room, the ones that are on Zoom, it's hard to sit down. So usually if I'm sitting somewhere, I'm at the front of the room because they can't hear me because of the mass situation, and it's just a mess. So... That's kind of it. I have some signs over here from Elementary and the Mitten. Those are, um, these were her free ones, I think. Yeah, these are the free ones, I believe they were, um, that she did last year. Um, they have Martin Luther King Jr. And then uh, Black History Didn't Start With Slavery, because I want them to know that, and that's super important, which is why I have a whole Black History wall over here. Then we have Dream, Dream, Lead, Think, Fight, Right, and then like different, um, black scholars and um, important black figures over there. Then what else do I have that's from her? Oh, my signs. The 
Read more books and readers are leaders. I have them back there. I love them. They're so pretty. They were in my reading area last year, which I can't have a reading area because they have all the desks. There's no way for me to put any fun things in the classroom, which I mean, I honestly didn't even want to bring anything else to work because of that. But I just feel like my room isn't isn't what it was. I mean, I'm making the best of it as I can, but it's just not it's not the same and it's just every day is stressful. And that's something that I really just don't enjoy or look forward to. But, you know, you do what you can. And then I have my calendar up here on the wall, on the this other board. Usually this board is used as an agenda board. And you're basically just supposed to write what you're doing that day. Um, yeah, the agenda board. Not my favorite thing. But that's usually what's there. Which if you see, like videos from last year, you'll see that it was filled out and decorated. This year, I wasn't going to use it at all. And I just decided to put the calendar there because this is there. My calendar actually used to be where this bookcase is. But I decided that I was not going to move that bookcase across the room because there was no more space for it in this room. <sighs> oh, that's frustrating. But anyway, then I have over here, I have our expectations. What is also, Oh, this is good work habits that we talked about and filled in. Then I have some of my drawers over there for organization. I honestly have not used them. I might take them home. I brought them to school so that, I, you know what, maybe I'll leave them there. It kind of just makes, it, makes me feel better that they're sitting on the counter. Like, they're not really serving a real purpose at the moment, but they, they're making me feel better. So, I just left them there. And then I, that one is for pencils, but I don't let them touch it. And then my sharp. But I have 10, 15... Ooh, 15, 15 minutes until I can go home officially. And I think that's it. Actually, I need to go to the bathroom, which I have not, when was the last time I went? Oh, I didn't go today. Oh, my ear hurts. I don't know if this is like a black head or what the situation is on my face. But I've noticed a few, just like really small ones because my, my skin is like, it doesn't really break out anymore now that I'm an adult. When I was a teenager, I had acne issues. And then I think like my early, no, I think it was just like teenage, as a teenager, and then like maybe 20. And then after that, I basically like my skin cleared up and we were fine. And now I just try to keep it even. So like I can't really show any emotion without the frown line showing up. And so now I'm just trying to look blank playing with my braids. I really love them. I love this color. I was apprehensive about it because I have never had tricolored braids like this because it's a 1B and then it goes into I think it's like a 33 I want to say this is a 33 and then I believe it's a 27 my sister told me it was a 27 at the bottom so I'm like okay cool I have nine minutes I've been here talking to y'all okay so I'm gonna get off of here with y'all so I can go and pack up my stuff because at this point it's time for me to go home oh I need to go do that last thing for a parent and then we will go okay I'll talk to y'all later I'm not sure what I walked into, why there's a piece of my ceiling missing, or why it's on my desk. So, happy Friday. Wow. Quite the shock to walk into on a Friday morning. Okay, so I see what, what happened. They put one of those internet um, receptors in my room, and that's why this desk has been moved, but then also... I'm guessing that's why this part of the ceiling is missing because they were going through there to get over here. And then that thing, that's new. That wasn't there yesterday. All right, well, I think I solved the mystery by myself.